Julia Donaldson and um, entitled The Room on the Broom and the children are going to reenact it for you now and they'll sing a song and then there'll be a few jokes at the end. We're sure that you've probably heard all about it already and heard the song but we hope that you'll really enjoy the performance that they're going to give Are you sitting comfortably? Then I will begin. The witch has a cat and a very tall hat and long ginger hair which she wore in a plait. How the cat purred, and how the witch grinned. <laughs> and they sat on their broomstick and flew through the wind. But how the witch wailed, and how the cat spat, when the wind blew so wildly it blew off the hat. Down! And they flew to the ground. They searched for the hat. But the hat could not be found. Then out of the bushes, on thundering paws, there battled the dog with the hat in his jaws. He dropped it politely, then eagerly said, I'm a dog as keen as can be. Is there room on the roof for a dog like me? Yes! The witch tapped the broomstick, and whoosh, they were gone. Over the fields and the forests they flew. The dog wagged his tail and the stormy wind blew. The witch laughed aloud and ha. held on to her hat. Ha 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 ha! But away blew the bow from her long from her long ginger plait. Down! And they flew to the ground. They searched for the bow, but the bow could not be found. Then out from a tree with an ear-splitting shriek, there flapped some green birds with the bow in their beaks. They dropped it politely and bent their heads low. We are birds as green as can be. Is there room on the broom for birds like we? Yes! The witch stuck the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. <laughs> Over the reeds and the rivers they flew. The bird shrieked with glee and the stormy wind blew. <laughs> they shot through the sky to the back of the yard. The witch clutched her bow but let go of her wand. Down! And they flew to the ground. They searched for the wand. But no wand could be found. Then all of a sudden, from out of a pond, left dripping wet frogs with a dripping wet wand. They dropped it politely and then said with a cross, We are frogs as clean as can be. Is there room on the room for frogs like we? Yes. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh. They were gone. <laughs> Over the moors and the mountains they flew. The frogs jumped for joy and the broom snapped in two. Down fell the cat, the birds, the frogs and the dog. <laughs> Down they went tumbling into a bog. The witches have broomstick flew into a cloud, and the witch heard a roar that was scary and loud. Roar! I am a dragon as mean as can be, and I plan to a witch and chip for my tea. No! Hell! Maybe the swans will have witch without chips. But just as he planned to begin on his feast, from out of the ditch arose a horrible beast. It was tall, dark, and sticky, feathery and furry. It had four front full heads and wings like a bird. And its terrible voice when it started to speak was a yowl and a growl and a croak and a shriek. It drifted and it squelched and it strode from the ditch and it said to the dragon, Fall off! That's my witch! Thank you! I'm sorry I made a mistake. It's time to have met you, but I was gone. Without you, I'd be in that dragon's inside. Find something and do one. Throw something in.
Then, oh, then up flew the birds, and up jumped the frog. Remember, up climbed the cat. And you said the dog. Thank you. Now for the dream, the dragon's inside. Find something, everyone. Throw something in. So the frogs found the lily. The cat found the cone. The birds found a twig. And the dog found the bow. They threw them all in and the witch stirred them well. And while she was stirring, she muttered a step. Then out rose a truly magnificent room with seats for the witch and the cat and the dog. A nest for the birds and a shower for the frogs. Yes! The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone.
their lovely assemblies. I hope the parents enjoyed it. I thought they were great.